Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I'm a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can create and deploy SharePoint framework list view command uh, set extensions to our SharePoint Online Office 365 website. Before this, you can check out my previous videos on how we can set up a development environment for SPFX and then how we can deploy uh, our SharePoint uh, framework web parts or the client side web parts and also I have created videos for how we can create and deploy SPFX application customizer extensions as well as field customizer extensions. I'll put all the links in the description of this particular video. So now let me show you what exactly we are going to see here. So if you look at this, there is a list or trainers list and it has two buttons you can see here command 1 and command 2 in the command bar of this particular uh, SharePoint uh, list and if you click on that then it will show a default message a uh, dialog box it will show that so uh, we can use this command extensions uh, to add new custom actions into the SharePoint online list or library views in the command bar and also we can write our client side code which will implement the behavior of these custom actions so these are the things basically we will do uh, by using your uh, command set or the list view command set extensions so now let's open the node.js command prompt so here i will create a folder so md spfx command set demo and we'll navigate to the folder so i'll say spfx command set demo and then we will run our uh, sharepoint your main sharepoint gen generator so you microsoft slash sharepoint and then it will ask us uh, to provide the details so we will fill all the details here so if you'll see here i will say this is we'll we'll target for sharepoint online latest I will use the current folder and then we don't need to deploy every other solution to all the sites neither we require uh, this thing for uh, the APIs and uh, now in this case I will select uh, extensions because that's the thing we are going to do here in this example and once you do that then it will ask you who, which type of extension that you want to develop so in this case it will be list view command set and then it is asking me for the name of the command set so i'll say spfx uh, command uh, set like this and then the description it will it will take some time now and uh, then it will create uh, the structure for us uh, the solution for us so meanwhile if you are interested for sharepoint training i have a sharepoint framework a training course and then you can look at this and there are uh, 10 modules on that and it will be from the beginning to an export label so it includes also typescript or uh, crash course and then react as well and there are a uh, lot of modules which it will come uh, a lot of courses i'm keep on adding on this thing so you can check out i'll put the link on the uh, description of this video so it will give some time and then uh, once it will complete then I'll be back. So you can see here it uh, created this uh, particular uh, extension uh, solution for uh, the uh, SPFX command set extensions. I'll open this using Visual Studio Code. So I'll put just code dot and then it will open in Visual Studio Code. We'll see a couple of important files here. So if you'll go to source then extensions then you can see here there is a dot uh, JSON file and it has uh, you can see here your uh, id and the name and then uh, the type and uh, the component type and then the extension type you can see it here and the second one is the command buttons here so we'll see where it is exactly appearing but you can see here command buttons here two buttons are there one is command one and another one is command two and then if i will open this uh, command set .ts file in this file see if you'll see here two properties defined by default the base list view command set uh, is imported and here is the uh, file so uh, if you'll see here on list view updated so this is uh, this these two methods are quite important one is uh, the list view updated and another one is the uh, uh, on execute so these two uh, files are quite important what why these two files 
so whenever any change will happen uh, to the sharepoint uh, list view uh, then the, the uh, this event will trigger and it will trigger for each command and uh, the ui will be re-rendered and uh, this event we will use whenever let's say you want to show hide some button based on some condition or something so whenever it will change then it will uh, the ui will render so if you see here we have the command one button and we are checking if uh, if it, it is visible only if uh, this length uh, selected rows uh, length equal to equal to one that means if i'll select one item then it will show if i'll select multiple item it will disappear and if you will not select any item then also it will disappear the second one is on execute so what will happen on click of this button so what, whatever the button you are adding into the command bar what will happen on click of that in this case we are just displaying two messages uh, which is the default code i have not modified anything uh, in the later videos we will modify but in this case you will see here just the default properties that we are setting up now what we will do is we will uh, open it in the local workbench so but your extensions will not work directly on the local workbench so you can go to the config file and then go to server.json file and we have to actually modify the url here so i'll copy the sharepoint list url here and uh, then i will replace it here on this you can see here both the things i have replaced i'll just save it now on this i will uh, go and i will run the gulp serp so you can see here and it will now open the our sharepoint online live site url or the list url you can see here this one and click here load debug script and now if you'll see here by default command 2 is there if i will select one item then you can see here command 1 button is also coming here and if i'll select multiple items then that item gone only the command 2 is there so uh, and if i will click on this you can see here one item is selected if i'll click on this one also it is saying the command is visible basically we're just displaying a message in the dialog box so now you can see here so it will appear like this now if you want to upload into the uh, site or your SharePoint online site so that you can actually use it any any list or library on any site collection uh, for those scenarios what you can do is we have to uh, deploy the package and uh, so we have to basically uh, create the package and then we can uh, deploy it so before that I will tell one more files which is known as uh, if you will go to the SharePoint, then there is lms.xml file. This is uh, registration ID is quite important. We are telling here that uh, this command will appear for list, custom list. Now I will open my command prompt. So let me just stop it. So you can just press Ctrl C, it will stop. And then now I will run the command here, gulp uh, build. I always prefer to do a gulp clean. So gulp clean and then uh, once it is done then we'll run the gulp build command so you can see here i will say gulp build and then we will bundle it so you can see here let it build successfully you can see here now i will run gulp bundle hyphen hyphen save and last command will execute to package the solution uh, so it is gulp package hyphen solution so if we look at here i will see gulp package hyphen solution hyphen hyphen zip so now it will create the package so we can see the package file so if i will go to the sharepoint and then you can see here solution folder and within that you can see here the package file got created so i'll reveal in file explorer you can see it uh, this is the package file i will go and i'll open my app catalog so if you have not created the app catalog make sure you clear the app catalog site and then here i will just drag and drop here so if you look at this uh, this is i have uh, I'll click on deploy so that it will be deployed here and we can see here SPFX command set demo client side solution. Now uh, I will see this is our SharePoint online live site. I, if I'll refresh it, you can see here same trainer list, but we don't have that button here. So what I'll do here is we will first add it. So I will go to uh, now go click on the gear icon. Then uh, I will click on add an app. So you can see here settings and then add an app 
and we can see our solution here this is the solution spfx command set demo client solution click on that and then it will take a couple of seconds and uh, uh, then it will add it over to this particular site you can see here now it is added successfully i will just refresh this uh, list now we should be able to see the button here you can see here by default the command to button if you click on that there's a message is coming if i'll select then you can see here another button is also coming and if i'll select multiple item then that oh, that is gone so this is how we can work with oh, the command set uh, extensions and if you like the video kindly subscribe to the channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint spfx power apps power bi uh, azure all these technologies microsoft technology will get these are our website keep visiting this is our twitter handles do follow us and then linkedin facebook pages like us and also have a look at the training courses that i have for spfx and the sharepoint you can take you can also check the complete sharepoint development trainings i'll put the url in the comment section in the description of this video thank you and have a nice day